It was so nice talking to you today. Honestly, I've never met anyone like you. Did you know that in 2022, OnlyFans generated $12.5 billion in revenue? Wow, that's, uh, that's a lot of money. Yep, definitely. And some of the biggest creators on the platform, the way they are able to generate this money is not necessarily with their content. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's by I mean, having some kind of interpersonal relationship with, with their subscribers. And the way they do that is through keeping a chat or some kind of text messages back and forth with their subscribers. But then if all that, you'll, you'll be asking yourself, like, can one person, one OnlyFans creator be talking or chatting with thousands of subscribers? Actually, no. The way that works is that these OnlyFans models have people working for them. Some people in the Philippines, some people in third world country where the cost of life is quite low. And they hire these people, they train them on how to talk to these, you know, simp. <laughs> and basically, they these people think that they're actually talking to the OnlyFans creator, but they are just talking to a third party, some guy in some village, and, and they, they have all their fantasies going on in their head. Well, wow. this week, I've learned that maybe AI is going to disrupt all that, and maybe only all the big only fun creators are gonna go broke so <laughs> watch this video and tell me what you think it was so nice talking to you today honestly i've never met anyone like you the world is harsh except you yes it there i actually you know um came across the same uh, video on twitter and uh, this week, I actually came across another tweet again of a guy that developed a really, really similar uh, uh, app. Uh, actually, is a, a website and he's an AI girlfriend companionship website as well. And his story is very, very insightful, really. I'm not sure if you came across it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. I saw that. Uh, I think it was something about uh, not, not safe for work type of AI. Yeah, and exactly. So... Yeah, so I was going to say that the, the guy actually, he's from Belgium, I believe. And this guy, his name is uh, Enias, I believe. And uh, I actually sent him a message, but um, I think he is very busy now. So he, he wasn't able to reply. But he basically said that, you know, this whole idea to create an AI girlfriend kind of app or website came to him when he was on Reddit. So this guy was on Reddit and then he, he, he kind of saw people talking about it and he took a weekend two days and then build the whole platform. So it's a website. And really he thought to himself that the way he's going to differentiate himself from every other competitor on the market is to really go into not say for work kind of content. So all his content and everything is like very, very, I would say limitless. And the AI companion can do so many things that are not safe for work. And, you know, that's how this guy launched his business, right? So he launched his business and then he managed to get, go in touch with some of the kind of news papers as well. One of them wrote like a, a, a very bad article about him and he, he actually didn't like it. So he, he stopped the whole thing. So that's how the, the whole thing, you know, kind of ended first. Mm. And funny enough, after that, he said that he was, you know, just hanging around and again, he was on the net and then he saw, uh, I'm not sure whether you are familiar with this, um, uh, this venture capital called uh, A16Z. Yep. Uh, Andreessen yeah. Horowitz. Yep. Yeah. 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 So uh, I believe that they backed an influencer called Karine Marjorie. And this influencer is, is actually a little bit, a little bit famous. Uh, I think on Instagram, I checked, he, she's around like, I think the 300 uh, subscribers. And basically what they do is just they create like a very AI version of, of this lady. And this AI version is called AI Karin and AI Karin has a website and everything. And this thing looks really, really real. Like if you didn't know anything about this, right, you will think this is a real person. And in the first week of launching this AI Karin, they were able to make 72K uh, in that first week. And they were charging people just one dollar per minute so j just imagine right in one week people spoke to this ai for seventy-two thousand minutes that's wow. crazy that's crazy that's crazy <laughs> and 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 this goes back to what i just said right 
it, it's funny. Like when people are talking about AI a couple of years ago, they were saying stuff like, oh, AI is going to replace all the people who work in warehouses, people who do like Uber, like we will have self-driving cars and is the complete opposite is replacing people who are working in some kind of uh, media or some kind of influencers. Those are the people AI is replacing. It's crazy. It's crazy. And, and just thinking about the OnlyFans model, where they hire all these guys in the Philippines to talk to all these subscribers, think about what you just said, like having this female AI, which is essentially just a computer somewhere, right? And people are talking to it and they really want to talk to it. I know there is like um, some moral questions, right? That people ask themselves about this, but man, there is going to be a big, big, big business in the coming months, like in this field. And I think it's, it's going to be crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I totally agree with you. I just pulled out, you know, the, um, uh, the website. So this is the web that the website of the Karin AI. And, you know, as you can see, it says, you know, the first influencer, uh, you know, transformed into, into AI. And this is not even a website. I would say this is just like a landing page. Like right. it's, it's, it's a one page website, right? So how and, do people actually talk to her? Um, I believe you have to subscribe. You have to join. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, I you see. join with your name and your email and then you chat right. with this, um, this lady. Did you join? Uh, I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's a funny one. That's funny. No, no, no. I didn't join. I didn't join. Man, d what kind of journalist are you? <laughs> I'm not, you have I'm not, to I'm, go all I'm the not, way in. No no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not that type of journalist, right? You know. You, you know that in war time, right? Like some journalists will go on the field and you know be there You're... with the people that are fighting. And I, I, I usually find that really crazy, right? You just st stay away and look, right? So that's what I'm you doing. You see, you see, guys, this is this is the bad behind the desk journalism that yeah. we don't want. <laughs> this yeah. is what you are seeing here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I actually did something. Uh, I, I think I told you, I told you about this one. I did, I did something uh, really crazy on a due diligence project where we were looking into a company that was in the uh, not safe for, um, for work kind of space, in the swinging space. Yeah. And I had to kind of do the competitor analysis, the market, um, the market kind of review as well. And also... The um, uh, kind of the customer uh, customer side of things, speaking with the customers, and that was that was a crazy project. I had to. I was like on many many crazy websites, man. Can can you tell that story in three minutes? If it's okay, I don't, I don't know. Like the people who hired you want you to tell this story, but I think this will be very interesting for the, for the audience. You can just remind your the viewers what your background is, and if you can do it like in three minutes, I think that's yeah, great. yeah. Let me let, let me see if I can I can make it interesting, right? So yeah, on, <laughs> I, want, I want people to hear this story. I think it's very yeah, yeah, crazy, so. but you know, people are trying to make money and they don't care where it's coming from. So. Exactly, exactly, <laughs> exactly. And really, man, there there are some private equities out there that are, that are crazy. Can you start times? by telling a little the audience a little bit your your background? Oh yeah, so uh, yeah, so my my kind of um, specialism or what I do is more in like strategy and due diligence. So I've done a lot of due diligence. I don't know three three hundred due diligence where we look at uh, you know various companies. Right. Uh, for, and this uh, is mainly for M and A, right? Like uh, mergers yeah, and yeah, exactly. acquisition stuff, right? Exactly, exactly, okay. exactly. So both on the uh, buyer side and the seller side. So if someone wants to, if an investor wants to acquire a company or uh, they want to sell or a owner want to sell and they want to report that can uh, kind of present the company on the best light um, and yeah so I did that for, for for quite a bit and that's how I ended up in this uh, kind of crazy on this crazy project right okay so uh, this was a private a private equity in France uh, so by the way I speak French as well and they were looking for someone that you know that could cover a project that they were they were doing and at this time I was working as a as a contractor, basically. So I had my own kind of uh, company set up. Uh, so yeah, st started the project. So at the beginning, they didn't tell me much about, you know, what the project is. They just asked me if I'm willing to work on any type of project, right? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I can, I can do that. I don't really mind. And then, you know, first day of the project, I got the company name. I checked the website. I was like, whoa, <laughs> what was this? <laughs> and really, this is like, uh, I'm not sure how the YouTube guidance in terms of like these things are, but it's called swinging. 
So it was a right. screen, swinging platform, right? And uh, they have they had their users and and, and etc. And uh, they uh, let me just go a little bit into that, right? <laughs> um, I, I'm not gonna go too much into details, but yeah. you can go and do your own research. But if you've ever watched any movie about you know uh, that is a little bit not safe for for work, you know you you know what we are talking about. Swinging is basically a lot of people in a room having fun. Okay. Yeah. So you yeah. can go and do your own research, but that's basically what it is. Yeah, yeah, that that's it. Having fun, changing partners, um uh, yeah, those 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 type of things. And yeah, so basically we were looking into this company and um yeah, we were two on the project. Uh we had like a, a project manager and two consultants on the project. And so, I was looking uh, at mm, go ahead. One thing, uh so this website mm. what what was the web, website for? Was it for like a finding partners or finding like places where the fun was happening <laughs> what, what is it <laughs> it was actually it was actually everything those two things uh okay. those two things so find where the, the you know the, the fun is happening and uh at the same time it was like the mythic and I, i'm not sure whether you are familiar with that website is no. um mythic or like a, a tinder so it okay. was first a tinder and then okay. also if you want the places where those things are happening uh, you okay. know, they will give you all the details and etc. And I believe some of them had like um, toys as well. So oh, okay. they, it was a one one stop shop, basically. one stop shop for <laughs> all the strangers. So <laughs> exactly. you can find your, exactly. your toys, exactly. you can find your partners, exactly. and you can find where the fun is happening. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think really, really the most disgusting thing ab about that project was that I had to do like a competitor analysis and that oh was my painful. God. <laughs> that was painful. I was on all these French websites where that's all they do. And at, at dinner or lunchtime, you don't even want to eat because you, you are disgusted, bro. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy. It was, it was crazy. I'm, really, you it was know, very, I'm not, very I'm crazy. not surprised that... <laughs> This is something the French do. <laughs> uh, but I mean, so basically, the key things that we wanted to change about to check on this on that uh, kind of acquisition for the for the private equity was to see first if the regulation is gonna be okay in the future. Because uh, they they were like, I don't want to mention those those things. Cause I think YouTube is very uh, strict on those. But there there were some regulation element where they were a little bit scared and they didn't know whether in the future that platform will still exist okay uh, because some people meet on the platform and then some bad stuff have happened to some right. of them okay if, if you get what i mean i'll just yep. uh, yep. leave it yep. that way yep. um so they wanted to check that so there was a deep dive in regulation uh, they wanted to know about the competition what the competition is doing and etc cetera, etc cetera. and uh yeah, I believe I believe that was it. That those were okay. the main things that they wanted to 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 know about. And uh, fun fact, uh, the subscription. So they had like a subscription kind of plan as Model. well. Yep. Yeah. And fun fact is that people don't subscribe to those websites for the full year, never. Okay. So they will subscribe for only three 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 months. Three months. Okay. Find someone, have fun for like maybe three three to six months, and then they will subscribe okay. again for one month or. Okay. Three months. Three so months. It, it was a very weird. weird, weird, yeah. weird, weird, weird so weird how, thing, how yeah. much will you say the business was worth, or how much were the 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 private equity guys were going to pay for the business? Ooh. And do you have like any insight into like how much revenue they were generating? Revenue wise, I think they were around the 10, 10 million ish euro. I think that's that's hey. what they were. 10 yeah. million yeah. euros. It was a very small, small, small platform, but they were making a lot of money. Well, I mean, you know, sex sales, always. you know, <laughs> <laughs> but, but, yeah. but here, here is the thing, right? Uh, let's just take a, a conversation back to what we were talking about yeah. originally, which was AI, right? AI at the point it is right now is trying to take all of that out. They basically take the human aspect out of this game completely, right? I, I know it's going to be difficult and everything, but it's going there. If you just do a little bit of research about how lonely the Gen Z generation is. I think there is a statistic out there about like 30% uh, of men are lonely and, and uh, they've yeah. never had sex and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So if you think about all those things, 
yeah, there is still a moral issue here, but at the same time, a lot of people, not us, we are not going to be in this business, right? Uh, unless, <laughs> I don't know, but, you know, for the foreseeable future, we just need to point it out because this is a podcast. There is, again, a big opportunity there for people in, in, in that sector, right? Yeah. And, yeah. and that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, what I will add is that, you know, for AI, right? I think AI, when AI comes into a sector, it takes all the low-hanging fruit or the weak performers out. Right. And only the best performers will stay. And exactly. I think that's what, what is, it's going to do to, you know, uh, people in this in this industry. But, you know, coming back to, to, to the story I was telling you before right. regarding this Belgium guy called Ineas. So when he came across the Karin he decided to, you know, bring back his project, right? And then, you know, everything resumed again and the website is live and everything. And this guy started making a lot of money. And basically he, he said that he was making $2,000 uh, a day wow. that he, he would wake up in the morning and, you know, he would see $700 uh, in, in his account, like in the morning. And by the end of the day, $2,000 in the account. He was just making good money and he had like three, in terms of like subscription, he has like a free, a freemium. So like Spotify, and then he has $15 per month and then $35. And, you know, he gave some fun facts about, you know, the platform. And basically he was talking about how most of his users are actually women, which was crazy to me. Yep. So he said that 75% of, you know, the, the people on the platform are, are women. And I was like, wow, that's, that's really crazy. Really, really crazy. And he said that in terms of like the dynamic on the platform, the dynamic shifted quite a bit because the men that were on the platform, they were very, very heavy on, you know, uh, not safe work stuff. While the women were more, were more into like uh, uh, things that, you know, are more like relationship, talking a lot right. and having like a real kind of intimate uh, kind of relationship with a person while, you know, you know, as usual, men are just wild. Right, and, right, right. You know, yeah. Men <laughs> are etc. attracted to things yeah. that are like visual and women yeah. are less visual, but more connecting uh, at the, at an emotional level. So mm. especially in this day and age where everybody is like trying to kind of get away from each other like we connect through social media but real life connection doesn't happen anymore right like yep. most people i think i saw an article the other day where someone was saying that 35 percent of couples met online yeah yeah yep. yeah you have statistics like that uh, mm -hmm. compared to like 10 years ago maybe it was like one percent right mm -hmm. so you have statistics like that so the human connection is kind of disappearing a little bit. And, and this is the world, man, even though morally this is weird, yeah. but this is the world we are moving into. And I, I don't know whether to say I support it or I don't support it. <laughs> I, I like the human connection. I like speaking with you, right? But you are <laughs> out there in London and technology is allowing us to have this podcast, right? So yeah, this sure. is what is happening. So, you as a person who is looking out for this trend, you have to look where the money is going to go, right? You have to look at where the opportunity is going to fall so that you catch it, right? So that's all we are doing. Yeah. And yeah. this is happening more and more. Before, like um, 10, 20 years ago, there were less uh, women in the workforce, right? Today, there are more women in the, in the workforce and, and this is also pushing uh, women to be a little bit older before they, they have kids, right? That alone actually gave birth to another industry, the industry of uh, in vitro fertilization, right? Yep. Right? So you have to be on the lookout. That's basically what it is. Times are changing. You have to look where the opportunity is and place yourself accordingly so you can benefit from it. If you have moral issues, you look at, at somewhere else, right? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what it I is. I mean, yeah. If you have moral issue, issues, guys, don't even continue watching these videos. Because <laughs> I mean, that's what we've been talking about, right? Right. But yeah, s some of the key things that the Enias guy mentioned in um, his tweet uh, were about like 
the needs of his customers, right? And I think that's something really, really important when you start a business or when you are in an industry, you know, in your customers right. and according to him, the people in this, the users of these kind of, um, app or, or kind of software, what they value the most is the experience where they, they can ask the AI, whatever they want, and they don't feel that the AI is limitless. So they, they want the AI to be limitless. They want the AI to be able to talk about anything, no boundary. Right. Like, so, so that's one of the most important thing for them. And the second thing is, uh, the fact that they want to be, they want to feel like they are wanted, right? Like th that feeling right. of being, of being wanted. Right. And if we go back, for example, to the first video that we showed at the beginning of the pod, uh, which is about the, the Gigi or the Gigi, I don't know how they, they, they call it. Yeah. Um, the way the AI was speaking. I mean, it was giving you that impression that you are, you are wanted, right? right? It was so nice talking to you today. Honestly, I've never met anyone like you. So that's the need that, you know, they are trying to, to, to feel. And that goes all back to the loneliness of this generation, the Gen Z, the millennials right. and et cetera, et cetera. And this is a big opportunity for AI. So I'm going to break it down and kind of show you a little bit where the opportunity is is here right ai as far as generative ai as far as large language models are good at predicting the next word right so that means that they can very easily simulate human behavior as far as speaking and writing okay that's the technology side so i'm kind of breaking it down there is a technology llm whatever ai gener generative ai the market is what a bunch of people who are lonely, right? That's the market. That's, that's what OF runs on. OnlyFans runs on lonely men uh, looking for connection. And, and there was a study that, that was done and showed that most of these men that actually subscribe to those sites, they are not necessarily looking for the sex aspect of things, mm -hmm. but they are looking for connection. They, they want to be wanted, basically. They want to be kind of desired, yeah. right? So yeah. that's why they spend so much money because most of the money that these OnlyFans models make is not by the content they share, but the text messaging and the one-on-one -on -one relationship they have with their subscribers through text messages or chat, okay? And what? LLM is super great at, at talking and writing, okay? Generative AI is super great at that. So smart people have looked at this and said, okay, I'm going to train this AI to be like this woman, okay? Because these OF models, what they are doing is that they are hiring this Filipino workforce, training them that if someone ask you this, you reply like this. If they ask you this, you reply like this. Now, probably, right, the opportunity is where, okay, you approach an, an OF model who is making millions every month on OF, right? And you ask them, hey, maybe you can give me all your, last, your, your previous chats. I can train this AI on it. And I can replace all your, all your Filipino chat workers, <laughs> right? So you yeah. are saving money. It is a business, it guys. Is, it is, like, it is. <laughs> it is, it is, it is. It is a business. So yeah. you are spending money paying these people. Now you are going to take all these people out and the AI will just do the work for you. This is the opportunity. You pointed out just now that Carry AI was doing what? 72,000 the first yeah. month. Or the, no, the first week, actually. That, that the, was first the first week, week in yeah. seven days. Yeah. They made $72,000. That's okay. crazy. That's crazy. That, that's crazy. And that's what it is. So yeah. AI is going to take these things out. And the opportunity is huge. Just go out and look at uh, all the, the research that have been done on this. How a lot of people are lonely. How a lot of people need connection. And even just from what this post from this guy is saying is that most of the users are women, right? So... That means that clearly there is a lack of human connection. And we know that 
men are more visual, human women are more on the connection side, like having a real connection to, to someone. If you train an AI to do the talking, right? <laughs> yeah, and we've all it. been there as men, right? You want to approach a girl, you don't know what to say. The AI just knows what to say, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, and there was there was actually there was actually a South Park episode about this where I'm telling you, man. Is all over. It's all over for humans. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's going to have an AI best friend an AI and best friend, nobody's going to talk to each other. Yeah, but that's where yeah. things are going and that's where the money is right exactly. now that we are, we, are, we are able to identify. Yeah, yeah. But re really, though the trend is going there, right? Right. The establishment hasn't quite decided to follow the trend yet because uh, this guy, uh, the issue that he had um, you know, after a few months of running his, um, you know, his website, uh, he said in two months he was able to uh, have, I think, 130 uh, K. And then after that, he just had an issue with, um, you know, with Stripe because he was using Stripe as uh, a payment method, right? And, right. you know, Stripe stopped everything because they say that this is, you know, not safe for work content and we don't want to work with someone that's doing that. So this guy was uh, kind of just left hanging, right? And then his revenue just dropped. Uh, he tried a few things. Uh, he used Bitcoin, uh, but, you know, most By of the his... Way, uh, mm, go ahead. How much did he make uh, during um, his his experiment? How much did he make? Yeah, yeah. so that's what I was saying. So he made, uh, I believe, one hundred. 34 uh, okay. K. So I think he did that in three months, uh, 134, 140 K. So around those range. Uh, so that's Again, what he guys, did. <laughs> no, like humans can lie, right? Men lie, women lie. The numbers numbers don't, don't lie, right? Okay. <laughs> in three months, he did 134 K, right? Yeah, that's what you yeah. said, right? Yeah, I so, think so. That, those are the numbers. We are not making this up. And you'll yeah. see it on the screen as well. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I mean that's that that's what he made before starting to have the problems. Uh, Bitcoin couldn't solve it, and then at the end he said he decided to work with some kind of Romanian uh, uh, guys, and the payment will be going through it, through them. But the second this guy posted his thread on on Twitter, there were like platforms that were in the comments telling him, "Yo, come to us, we can solve that for you." I think. By by the time you will be seeing this podcast, that problem will have been solved, and this guy will be you know back in business. And you know, beside him as well, there are other players. Like the first video that we saw before, that product is not completely ready. It's going to be ready, I believe, in the coming weeks or month. There is another one that's called uh, Dream a Girlfriend as well, and that one they made, I believe, one hundred k in one month. That's when that one is going mad as well. So this is really really like um an industry that's going yeah i mean just like, a new industry basically yeah, and, exactly um i mean there you are a, you are you are a developer right and right on the in the, in the thread as well on the comment I, I saw some developers saying oh i actually had this idea but i was really scared of the system i didn't want to kind of tarnish my reputation by by doing this another one said that oh i actually built it but i was i was just you know too scared to kind of publish it uh, I mean, did you have any idea like that or, or, or you built it or you had one of those websites, but I don't, I don't know about those, you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, like I said, uh, people will take moral issues with this. Uh, me, uh, I have a little bit of a moral issues that I haven't resolved myself, like thinking about these kind of things, you know, um, is it good for humanity? I don't know. I personally, I don't think it's the best. I don't think, uh, people should, um, you know, move away from the human connection and uh, rely on AI and computers to live their lives, right? Yeah. Uh, at the end of the day, you, you will get a bunch of people uh, running around who don't yeah. know how to behave socially. But, you know, we are going to, if it continues like that, we'll end up like, uh, I mean, I lived in Asia for a while. So Japan, for example, right? Uh, they are... Yeah, they are a little bit ahead. This. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they are. They are. I was gonna say a little bit ahead, but I was yeah. just thinking about a little bit. Yeah, way, way ahead. ahead. Yeah, and yeah, it's it's very it's actually normal there, uh, for you know, you know, even married men to to kind of have those sometimes AI, but sometimes like um, 
uh, basically uh, sex robots that's what he's trying to say <laughs> <laughs> or 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 even or even like a normal like human but it's not going to be about sex it's right. just going to be just about like talking yeah, to- yeah. talking yeah. yeah yeah so and beside that there is there are crazy stats about their workforce the workforce is is dropping massively yeah like, because <laughs> they they are losing the uh, younger post population right because yeah, they can yeah. reproduce fast enough so they are, their population is declining and if your population is declining then you don't generate a, enough gdp for the country so the country in in you know 20 50 years the economic force of the country is going to diminish that's yeah. basically what it means exactly so the reason why i didn't venture into this uh, category of ai is because I have those moral issues with myself, okay? But for someone who doesn't have this issue, go ahead, you know. Uh, we will expose it because <laughs> this is what we do. We look at, we look for opportunities in the market. We look for business opportunities and present them to you. And we want you to take action and make money. So yeah. that's what yeah. it comes down to for us. Yeah. Um, on, on the AI side, I think on, on this AI side, I think there are adjacent things that are not like, all the way sexualized, basically. And I think that's what Diggy, the AI uh, girlfriend thing is trying to do, where it's not all the way toned to, I don't know, 100% craziness, but it allows some of the users to have some kind of fake girlfriend that they can talk to. And let me add this, right? Even if you disagree with this, it's happening, okay? It's gonna happen whether you like it or not. On the other hand, there are major companies that are already doing this under, you know, some gray line. Like, look at Twitch. I just want to point this out. (laughs) Look at Twitch, for example. Twitch is like only fun light, basically, where you have all these girls half naked in a tub streaming. They are not really saying anything, but they are filming themselves and people are giving them money. It's, It's the same thing. It's just that Twitch makes a lot of money doing yeah, this, they, yeah, right? They do, they do. Right? So whether Stripes doesn't like it or not, some people are going to find ways to, to make money. If that person is you, you know, good luck. If you make it, you know, just remember to shout us out that we gave <laughs> you the idea. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what, what I was, what was going to say is that um, actually there are a lot of, I would say, private equities and even companies that actually avoid that industry. So that's something that I wanted to point out because during the research that I did a few years ago, some of these companies uh, that invest in these areas, they are linked to the mafia. I mean, I'm talking about Europe. So in Europe, you have companies like Albania who will have those websites. And uh, many of them actually, they do like, um, how do you call this in English? Um, money laundering so right, there's a lot of right. money laundering, money laundering going on. the, yeah, it's, yeah it's just like um some of the alternative coins you guys know who i'm talking about uh you know the big <laughs> big coin guys who creates every a, a coin every minute and take people's money that's what i'm talking about here but yeah go on yeah so that gray area is is actually a little bit tricky so if you want to yeah. get into it you need to know how to you know how to operate otherwise uh, you know, you will be, you can end up messing up with the wrong people or with the wrong person. This is so, true, yeah. but I want to say that I think this is actually better than having human beings actually doing this. I, I, I know I pointed out all the bad side before, but it has good sides. And here are the good sides, right? When you think about all these these people who are like the mafia and who, who, who maybe, you know, uh, do some kind of human trafficking, and you think of having a computer somewhere talking dirty, I would rather have the computer talking dirty to people than having people being trafficked to into forced labor and doing this kind of work. So I would say this is the, the good side of this thing because those other businesses that are not real or where people are forced to do this work that they don't want to do, and you have AI destroying that kind of business, I'm all for that. Um, I mean, I, I totally agree with you. I totally agree with you. Um, 
So guys, to to really sum it up, you know, with uh, the AI girlfriend thing, uh, actually one thing that we didn't mention is the um, website of, uh, you know, this this AI uh, uh, guy. Yeah, we are not going to mention it. We will show you the tweet, okay? <laughs> Ex- we'll exactly. You so tweet, you go do your research. And you right? go do your own research. You go do your uh, research. We don't uh, want to be banned by YouTube. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, so yeah, that's it. I mean, you know, the the that opens up, you know, uh, uh, a new industry uh, or a new kind of niche industry, I would say, or a sub industry, yeah. um, in which there are opportunities. But you just know, you just need to know how to play in that industry. Um, but, yeah. but yeah, if you are morally fine, yeah, go ahead and do it. Yeah, that's it. And, and I would like to add, like, for people who are watching us and not commenting, I want you to comment under this video. If you find it interesting, if you find this video interesting, there are a lot of edge or on the gray side businesses that we know about, that we've done research about, okay? Even in the AI world or some other, you know, category of businesses. If you like this type of video or you have like uh, some ideas that you want us to explore, feel free to comment down and uh, We'll make sure that to bring you that next, okay? Uh, me and my buddy, buddy, we make it all of this money. Yeah, I know it's rude to be bragging. Right. They never catching us lagging. Right. Me and my buddy, Ooh. we working hard for this money.